Yeah. All right, so we're bringing to you right now a simple little power chord um, exercise. It's a fun little riff that you can learn and play and jam along with. So what I want to teach you right now is just um, simple power chords, the rhythm, and show you where to go on the neck, okay? So this is pretty easy song, little didbit here. Didbit. Didbit. <laughs> Okay, it's really late. I've been here a long time. Yeah. Tim won't let me go home. No way. <laughs> Not going to do this. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, it starts on the B. It's in a B, B minor chord. Uh, B minor key. The key of B minor. All right, so start with um, the power chords. We're going to do power fifths, okay? So we're, basically it's just you only really need to play, um, use two fingers to play the chord. So you don't have to do a full bar chord. It's a lot simpler that way. And our first finger is always going to play the root of the chord. So when I say it's a B, then we're, our first finger is going to be on the B note. Okay, when I say it's C sharp, our first finger is going to be on the C sharp note. So the B note um, off the A string, off your fifth string, is on the second fret. Okay, so that's where your first finger is going to go, on the second fret of the fifth string. And then your third finger is always going to be... Uh, one fret or two frets up and one string over. So your third finger is going to go on the fourth fret of the D string. Okay, so there's your third finger, there's your first finger. Notice there's a, a fret in, of separation in the middle. Okay, so when you do power chords, there's always going to be one fret in between the two fingers, and then, you know, there's your first power chord. And what was I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hair of the dog. So, do the when you play the power chord, you're going to keep your fingers together in that grouping. Yeah, and the, the finger position, like in a cluster, right? So, whether you're moving them up or down or over, they're always going to maintain that same um, pattern, that same finger position. You know, slide it up or down the, the fret or whatever, but that makes it easier because you don't have to remember to change finger positions all over the neck, right? They don't move. They're going to locked in that position. So when you pick it, uh, the goal is to try to pick just the strings that your fingers are actually pressing down on. Okay, you don't want to hit that low, that low string because it's not supposed to be in that chord. So just try to hit, you know, look down at your right hand and when you pick, try to control it so that it stays on the A string and the D string as best you can, especially for this chord. So we do it two times, down, down, and then we're going to switch our chords. So it's down, down, and then we're going to take that whole grouping and slide it up two frets. So we slide past the third fret to the fourth fret with our first finger and play same positioning, right? So we're on the fourth fret with our first finger and the sixth fret with our third finger, and we play those. Dun, dun. So that's our C sharp power chord, okay? So then we just do a down pick twice with that one. And then we're going to move our fingers. We're going to lift them up and place them over off. We're going to move over um, to the next string and down two frets, back to our second fret position. Okay, so now my first finger is going to be on my D string at the second fret. And my third finger is going to be on my G string at the fourth fret. Okay, so I've moved over and down. So there's our next chord. Okay, so go ahead and play that chord. Remember, with your right hand, now this time you're playing your D string and your G string, not your A and D. Not your fifth and fourth, but your fourth and third. So look down, play that power chord. So just up to that point, we've got starting from the B again. Let's just go from there and go on up. So from the B, down, down. Slide it up, dun, dun, and then to, then up, over and down. So it's two down pick or down pick down pick for each one of them. And then we go to our next power chord, which is our A. So for the A, we actually can play our open A string, and just lay your first finger down across the rest of the strings. Okay. So open A and then lay your first finger down at the second fret of your D, G, B, whatever. It doesn't matter because we're only going to try to play our A string and our D string with our pick. So that's your A, your A power chord. 
So that's our next chord. So we did this. The A. And do it again. So play it. Actually, we're going to play the A four picks, four down strums. Down, down, stop. Down, down. And then back to the uh, E power chord played off of the D string. So I'm actually placing my first finger on the E note of the D string, the second fret. Same one we just did, right? So from the A, we go back to that second fret off the D. Off the E, I'm sorry. Okay? So now that you've got each little power chord, those are all of them. There's only four. Done. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. Four of them, yay. Okay, <laughs> so let's just play the whole thing together for the, you know, to get the rhythm. And I'll play it slowly with you, and then we'll play it faster and faster, okay? So here we go. I'll count you in. Okay. I'll count you in, and I'll call the chords. So here we go. One, two, three, go. B. C sharp. E. A. A again. Back to E. Back to B. To the C sharp. E. A. A again. To the E. Now we'll start going a little faster. Ready? Here we go. Two, three, four. getting that kind of sound when you strum your guitar, go to nextlevelguitar.com and check out some of the techniques that involve muting and um, some of the picking and palm techniques on nextlevelguitar.com. On nextlevelguitar.com. And uh, you're good. Jennifer was on drinks <laughs> last night. Yeah, it's been a long day. Okay, All right, so you guys. <laughs> good one.